here we are gonna get ourselves into Deponia. And so I've got the guide all pulled up for me to reference. So we should be good as far as uh as far as that goes, but I want to share this out a couple places first. And uh maybe give it a minute and then we'll get going. I hope everybody's having a fantastic Friday evening. The wife and the brother-in-law have work tonight, so they're not going to be here. They're not going to be home until about 10, 20, 10, 30, somewhere around there. Got a couple hours to ourselves play and to have some fun Got this tweeted out, shared to one place on Facebook, share a few other places, and then again, we're going to get started. That's uh, what this is saying that I'm playing DA. I played DA yesterday. I Oh, for some reason, I am signed out. I don't know why I'm signed out, but I am signed out. All right, hopefully by signing in, that actually fixes the issue. If not, I'll have to do it a different way. I'm not playing DA2. You're playing Deponia. Okay, now it's got the tags right. Jiminy Christmas, that was... A bit annoying. Bang Deponia. Wish I had cut that earlier so I wasn't wasting so much time.
Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to share this one more place and then we're going to get started. I've wasted enough time. Not part twenty one, it is part two. That is a detail that I can deal with uh, that I can deal with. All right, so we've got to come. Come on. I can come all the way over here. But for some reason, it's not letting me actually get... Yeah, I'm getting dirt between my teeth already. I better leave it closed for now. All right, there we go. Got some volume in my ears. The one thing that I hate about point and click adventures is that if you are not like right on the fucking money, um, you're not gonna get anywhere. Ouch! The wire's cutting into my flesh. I need, uh, well, something like, uh, uh, um, has anyone here got a bolt cutter? Yeah, we left the bolt cutter somewhere else. got pair of socks I've been wasting time okay so I've got pair of socks what does it want me to do on pair of socks wants me to do something with pair of socks what do you want me to do with pair of socks Oh, 
Okay. Why? Those are still good. I'll never be able to open it with that. Um. Okay. Okay. There we go. Hey, aggressive little bugger. Yeah, as long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. Okay, once we've done that... What? Those are still good! Not a chance. I bust my butt to get this stuff out of the sofa cracks. <laughs> I haven't worked that hard for food in years. Okay. Well, I did, but you make a statement every fucking time, which disables my fucking mouse. <sighs> Alright, let's try this again. I feel like I'm either missing something or the game is fucking me over. little bugger. Yeah, as long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. Yeah, I'm getting dirt between okay. my teeth already. I better leave it closed for now. Okay. So, in what the guide is telling me that I need to do is I need to get the arm so that I can open the the uh, hatch over here. The problem is, is because he makes that statement, it disables my mouse, which means I can't fucking do a damn thing. Which is pissing me off because it's fucking me over. Shut the fuck up. Hey! Jimmy, fucking Christmas. Uh. Come the fuck on! Hey, 
Yeah, as long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. Which means I guess I need to find a way to disable it. As soon as I leave, okay. Okay, so I expected the chain. Did that. Got the pair of socks. Used provisions on cog wheels. Arms comes out. Use a pair of socks on the protruding hatch. Ah, okay. I need the fucking hatch. Maintenance arm. Why? Those are still good. As long as the hatch is closed, I can. I already know that. Hatch. Yeah, I get it. I better leave it. Okay, there we go. Maintenance arm. Yeah, I'm getting dirt between. I better leave it. Suffering from vertigo, Miss Gold. You should have stayed in your cabin. It was foolish of you to go against my orders. What? What's going on here, Bailiff? Did you know about all this? Just a minute. All of you knew about this, right? The whole Organon is involved in this? Did you really think you could just keep it a secret? Wait until Cletus hears about this. But you won't be telling him anything about it. You will be a good girl and wait here until the Prime Controller arrives. And then? What then? I'm an Elysium, not one of his office clerks. How does he plan to assure my silence? Just you wait, Ms. Gold. I don't want to ruin the surprise. 
Holy smoke, a real orbit pixie. I bet she'll be pretty thankful once I've rescued her from the clutches of the Dark Exchequer. Let's go. Rufus to the rescue. Okay, so now that I've got this... Do anything. <laughs> Take that. No, don't. Ah. What's that? Ah. Whoops. Oops. Guess that was the wrong lever. You damned fool. How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon? Man, throw him overboard. <laughs> you need to catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you, see? <laughs> First I'm here, and now, I'm gone. Here, gone. Uh, uh -uh. Ouch. I was so close, but no, the minute I see a beautiful damsel in distress, wham! Well, I guess that's just who I am. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder. Okay. Two village center, all right. Have anything? Hmm. Locked. Huh. It can probably be opened from the inside. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. Okay. Mechanical bowl. Toro! Hey, I said Toro! Huh. Anything, he seems even more bored now. Ah, oh, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I'm sure it'll turn out. I mean, there wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. Okay, so we've explored all of that stuff. Let's go in. What's going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. Okay. What do we need to do? Enter the town square. So town, all right, into the alley, which I don't want to do. Tony's house. Shop. Town hall. Okay. Please 
please form a line, people. Draw a waiting... <clears throat> oh, draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well, I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the Dark Exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. All right, so let's find out if we need to... Actually, we probably do need to draw a number. Okay, so that's leaving. Those notice boards are great. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I'd still have to search for magnets in the trash heaps. I hate lines. Okay. Take the magnets from the entryway. Notification bar. Okay, we did that. Okay, take the magnets from the tree notification board. Use the dispenser lever. Everyone, just one number! Spoil sport. Yeah. Spoils Fortress, I guess. Big dude pretending to be a chick. Interesting. Enter Assembly Hall. Goal! I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. Oh yeah, that's going to go over real well. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. So, the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! 
The coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see here. Should be red. Well, that's just a doorknob. I am not seeing a red button other than this doorknob, so let us see what this brings us. Seem to have been stored here for quite a while. I wonder what occasion they're meant for, and why my face is on some of them. All right, well, that's the magnets. The balloons seem to have been stored here for quite a while. I wonder what occasion they're meant for, and why my face is on some of them. Okay, but I can't take the balloons. Okay, well, it's like telling me that I can take the balloons, but I can't. So we'll just go to the next step and hope we're not too horribly screwed. We've got magnets. So we're doing all right. All right, so we need to enter the alleyway next. And then we need to... I want to talk to him. Hello, here. Hannick. Oh, hey, uh, Rufus. Exactly. <laughs> why aren't you working? You mean, why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan. That's why. Hey, I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day, getting things done, and, uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. Well... How about you find some new magnets for our detonation plan? Then we can finally continue work. Uh, okay. talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Okay. Let's enter emergency station. That's where, that is where we want to go. All right. Ah, Rufus. I thought you're on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. 
Oh, well, listen, Lonzo, I, uh, I'd planned to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot, and, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufa. No one here expected you to make it. Huh. Ah, great. Thanks, I guess. All right, so we need to go to the dart board, and we need to take the dart. Okay, what else do we need to take? Let's see here, take the dart from the dart board. Take the cow sign from the bar. Alright. Okay. Lonzo. Yeah. We're gonna ask. Did you hear about the Did girl? Did you hear about the stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. Well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when uh... <laughs> idiots are quarreling. Yes. Okay. something that can give someone a real boost since when are you ordering coffee did you break Tony's coffee machine again how often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil that way no this is not about simple coffee I need something that really really gets you awake a kind of ultimate pick-me-up Lonzo are you okay Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. Oh, boy. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Hey, wow, you have a pipes, tanks, valves, it's a, it's a, it's a thing. This is an espresso machine, but this is not just any old espresso machine. This is the mother of all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. And you wound ribbons into its hair? Indeed I did. Okay, but one question remains. What exactly is this? Espresso. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of highly concentrated coffee. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Uh-huh. And then they forgot to switch the machine okay, off. One question. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor following all the instructions that I found. Unfortunately... Wait a minute. Oh, that's what's going on. You guys haven't been seeing shit because I forgot to transfer the scene. I thought I did, but I guess not. All right. <laughs> what a scrawl. Okay, I need clear, reviving, and energy-rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. It, hmm, none of these things can be found in Cuba. Ah, never mind, though. Being a master improviser, I bet I can find plenty of alternatives. All right, well, it looks like I'm going to have to go back through. You know what, here's what we're going to do. Um... Since I was a nitwit...
Okay. It's not the arm that I want, it's the hatch. And then maintenance arm. This is unbelievable. This is just impossible. I think I'm getting dizzy. Are you yeah, suffering yeah. from vertigo, Miss Gold? You should have stayed in your cabin. It was foolish of you to go against my orders. What? What's going on here, Bailiff? Did you know about all this? Just a minute. All of you knew about this, right? The whole organon is involved in this? Did you really think you could just keep it a secret? Wait until Cletus hears about this. But you won't be telling him anything about it. You will be a good girl and wait here until the Prime Controller arrives. And then? What then? Elysium, not one of his office clerks. How does he plan to assure my silence? Just you wait, Ms. Gold. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Holy smoke, a real orbit pixie. I bet she'll be pretty thankful once I've rescued her from the clutches of the Dark Exchequer. Let's go. Rufus to the rescue. Alright. I gotta get my guide back up here real quick. This is the left lever. This... <laughs> Take that! No, don't! Ah! What's that? Ah! Oops, guess that was the wrong lever. You damned fool! How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon men! Throw him overboard! You need to catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you, see? First I'm here, and now I'm gone. Here, gone. was so close, but no, the minute I see a beautiful damsel in distress, wham! Well, I guess that's just who I am. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder. Okay. I'm gonna take a look here at the truck again real fast. Hmm. Locked, huh? It can probably be opened from the inside. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. Okay. That's the truck door. It's the hood that we can't do anything about. Toro! Hey, I said Toro! <laughs> if anything, he seems even more bored now. Okay, let's go into the city. What's going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. Town hall since, since. All right. Uh, we're going to go into the town hall. It's amazing how fast Please things go. Line, people. 
Draw a waiting... <clears throat> Draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well, I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the Dark Exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. All right, so we're going to come and grab the magnets. Gonna come, we're gonna pull the lever. Number sixty six, almost my lucky number. Okay, and now we're gonna. Come Gold. back here. I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. Yup. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. Oh, the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. <laughs> yep, you go, boy. Yeah. Rufus, that's enough. You what? Come on. Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> for test, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! The coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. Okay. Alright, well, let's come and let's hit the, uh, the doorknob here. Come to the side. The balloons seem to have been stored here for quite a while. I wonder what occasion they're meant for, and why my face is on some of them. Okay, this was one of the things that I was looking through. Okay. Okay, so we inspect the closet. Cardboard box. You get the balloons, which it's not letting me actually. Oh, did we get them? We got them. All right, fantastic. So now we can actually leave.
And now that we've gotten those things, we're going to go ahead. We're going to step out. We're going to go to the back alleyway. Talking to people that we need to. All right. So we're going to go into Alonzo's bar. Ah, Rufus. I thought you are on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo, I, uh, I plan to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot, and, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Oh. Ah, great. Thanks, I guess. All right, so we're going to grab the dart. We're gonna grab the poster. Okay. Lonzo. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna ask him if Did he you heard about, about the, the girl. Stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. Well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when... Uh... Idiots are quarreling. Yes. Okay. Do you have something that can give someone a real boost? Since when are you ordering coffee? Did you break Tony's coffee machine again? How often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil that way? No, this is not about simple coffee. I need something that really, really gets you awake. A kind of ultimate pick-me-up. Lonzo, are you okay? Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. <laughs> oh boy, this is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Hey, wow, you have pipes, tanks, valves. It's a, it's a, it's a thing. This is an espresso machine. But this is not just any old espresso machine. This is the mother of all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. And you wound ribbons into its hair? Indeed I did. Okay, but one question remains. What exactly is this espresso? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of highly concentrated coffee. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Uh-huh. And then they forgot to switch the machine off. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor following all the instructions that I found. Unfortunately, the pictures were pretty blurry, but I think I figured out what ingredients I needed. Take the recipe. It's right next to you on that bar stool. If you bring me these ingredients, we can start brewing. In the meantime, I'll have found my life insurance policy. I hope. Ho, 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 ho. I'm so excited. <laughs> What a scroll. Okay, I need clear, reviving, and energy-rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. It, hmm, none of these things can be found in Cuba. Ah, never mind, though. Being a master improviser, I bet I can find plenty of alternatives. All right, so now that we've got our list, our to-do list, we're going to go here. And recipe... Huh? What was that? Oh, the emergency station has opened again. Oh, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. Okay, was there something else in here that I needed to grab? Uh... Big red curtain. Ah. Okay. Okay.
Poor Lonzo. He'll be lost without me when I'm gone. Okay. So now that we've gotten that... Okay, so it looks like we need to go back to the hall. I think. Uh... To emergency station. Okay, so I need to take the dentist drill. That's a love. Dentist drill. Okay. And come over here so that I've got a bit. Okay, so we take the dentist drill. Okay, so I also need to take the scalpel. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so we need to use the balloon on the laughing gas. Balloon filled with laughing gas. Okay. I needed to zoom in on the list because it was hard to read. All right, so we use the balloon on the laughing gas machine. We need to use countertop switch to change area. I'm confused. There's a lever. Okay, so there's a police box somewhere around here. Um... <laughs> Gizmo isn't here. That means I can fiddle around with his occupation modes unnoticed. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so there's a police box that's evidently thrown on the floor. I need to switch this to fire station. There we go. Okay. All right, so we need the gloves. Need the extinguisher. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter though, because I'm always cautious. Okay. Locked. Distrust everywhere. Okay. An adventure. <laughs> it looked much lighter lying in that cupboard. Okay, so we've got the police box now. Okay. Uh... But... The... Letters and... Firefighter's cabinet. I uh, don't have that. Okay. Okay, so we need... That's not gonna flee. Okay, foot fetters, there we go. What does it want me to do? Wants me to put it in the firefighter's cabinet. Okay. Nope. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter though, because it's not what I want. I want 
that. Okay. And there. Okay. It would help if I could actually decipher what I'm reading, but that's part of the MS and it's part of the brain damage, so. Alright. We put the feet better there. Switch rooms to the police mode. Okay. Strike! Okay. Please obtain the handcuffs when they fall out. Okay. Uh... Oh, there they are. Okay. Cool. Okay, we're gonna switch rooms back to the firefighter mode again. Okay. Um, firefighter mode again. Notice how the floor panel slides. Okay. What's up with the hatch? There's a hole in the platform. Okay. On the hatch. There's a hole in the platform. Okay. So we use the handcuffs on the hatch. Switch to the police. Okay. Okay, so I guess we need to go to the village gate now. And... There's a lot of steps to this, and I gotta be honest, it would take, it, without a guide, it would be a lot of bumbling to um to figure this out okay so now that we're in the cell what do we need to do take lock picks ah okay okay Enter margin station normally. Okay. So down we go. Yeah, 
there's just so so much back and forth and trying to again trying to piecemeal this would be a royal pain in the ass okay so now that we've done that Switch rooms to the medical mod. Okay. So now that we've switched mods. Ah, okay. We're going to use lockpicks here. Ugh, I hate syringes. Luckily, I've developed an immunity to tetanus. I wonder what that stuff tastes like. I've only ever been injected right into the heart muscle so far. Okay, so we've got those things. All right, so now on to the next section. Holy crap. All right, let's see here. Visit Tony's shop. Okay. Overall, I'm really enjoying the game. The game is fantastic, and I, and I think it's fantastic. So being able to do these things is great. I think that's where it wants me to go. Yeah, that's where we're going. We're going to Tony's shop. And there's an automated scene here. Looks like Tony's in her store. If I go in now, her taunting remarks will shower down on me like a hailstorm. Ah, oh, well, what the heck? Let's get this over with. Well, 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 look who's back. If it isn't Evil Knievel, the man who defied gravity, the conqueror of the sky, the wind jockey, the traveler on his way to the upper spheres, and yet... Here he stands, right in front of me. Who'd have thought? Believe it or not, this time I really made it. I was on board an Organon cruiser. Its destination, Elysium. And then the longing for me became too much to bear. I had to choose a life of eternal bliss, which means far away from you, or saving a beautiful Elysian girl from a horrible death. <laughs> yeah, right. Rufus is doing a selfless deed. I would love to laugh but my belly's still aching from when you were dragged through the junk. I'll show you. I'll wake the girl, and she'll take me to Elysium, and then you'll be sorry. You'll all be sorry. Okay, so now that we've got our chat options up, see here. Okay, well. I've got to go. <sighs> I've been saying that for years, but here you still are. All right, so there's some vouchers. Nope, that's hooks. Stuff. Okay, can I come over here? Vouchers. Hey, stop it! What exactly are you trying to pull off? I just thought it'd be good to take some of these mail-order coupons with me. Then I can use them to send all my friends on Deponia some, uh, hooks and, uh, lead weights, obviously. Uh, just like it says on these vouchers. Okay. First of all, you don't have any friends. You are a self-centered egomaniac who doesn't give a bleep about anybody apart from himself. Besides, what makes you think you could just walk in here and take things from my store? Couldn't I just pay you later? Pay me later? Pay me later? How the heck are you going to pay me back, smartass? Or did you finally, after all these years, get a real job? Did you? 
Well, not exactly, but... Isn't it enough that I still let you live at my place? That I still feed you? And I guess you think you're thanking me by letting me get rid of all the junk and garbage you produce every day. Why am I still putting up with this? I mean, really, why do I still do it? It's not like we're still... Oh, this sucks! My blood pressure! I have to meditate. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay. We inspected the vouchers on the countertop. Jar of hooks. Okay. Ah, ouch! Hey! Um... <laughs> um... Ouch! Look at that! Ah, <laughs> oh, such a tiny wound, and what a great pleasure! That is to say, Wait a minute. You dirty rat. Did you try and steal hooks from me again? Tony, please. I'm bleeding to death here. If there was even the slightest bit of hope that you'll ever learn from your mistakes, I'd say, suit yourself. But unfortunately, you've proven once too often that you'll never learn. So here you go. Just take the key for the first aid kit and get out of my store. If you didn't nag all the time, maybe I'd be able to listen to what you're saying for a change. Well, that's a bold statement. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So we obtain the key to the first aid kit, which has unmitted. And enter tunnel to Tony's house. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go there. Come on. Shouldn't have to hit that more than once. Hmm, cool. Okay. Let's see here. So we entered in Tony's house. We're gonna use the Abuso's glove on the chili peppers. Okie doke. Okay, now that we have done that we're going to enter tony's house ah uh, home sweet home isn't it wonderful okay let's see here so we're going to enter tony's house we're going to use the key to open the first aid kit if I could remember where the first aid kit is, that might be helpful. Um... Oh, oh, never mind. There it is. I was being a dingus. All right. Uh, see here, those are lock picks. Take the tranquilizer. Anything else? Not getting anything else. Okay. All right, so we've done that.
Okay, so we need to enter the harpoon launch pad. A can torch. Okay. Take funnel and take dud. All right, so there's the dud. Where's there's the funnel. Okay. All right. So we are going to take the scalpel. And we're going to use it on the dead. Well, there we go. Black powder. Return to Tony's shop and can find the black powder. The melon and okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go back to Tony's shop. Automated sequence. So we're going to return to Tony's shop and combine the black powder stimulant and chili pepper in the grinder. Okay, so I need to find the grinder. Ranger. Okay. So we are going to combine black powder. Stimulant Stimulant A pinch of black powder Okay We've got the stimulant, we've got the black powder. And the chili pepper. One whole chili. Okay. All right, and where's the crank? Okay. 
I wonder how many times around I need to go. I'll call this blend Rufus Reckless, the Maiden Slayer. <laughs> or Savior. Hmm. No, Slayer sounds much better. Okay, so we've got the coffee powder now. Okay. Okay, so now we've got to find... Alright. Okay, so we need to go to Wenzel's house now. Wenzel is down here, so let's go to... Uh... His place. This is Wenzel's house. He'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure. I bet he'll be pretty disgruntled because he decided not to come with me. He'll start shaking and get crying fits. Why am I not as cool and daring as you, Rufus? <laughs> I also want to experience such great excitement. <laughs> but deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut out for this. He'll get seriously depressed. Oh boy, I really hope he's home. Wenzel! Hey, Rufus. Back already? That was really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I almost made it. Unfortunately, like so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. That darn human kindness of yours. It's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You never get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be... Drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That darn human kindness. By the way, thanks for all your stuff. What? Wait, isn't that my chest? Well, you said I could have your stuff if your plan works out. But... And your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but... but... Well, that's settled then. <laughs> okay, that's definitely uh, interesting. All right, so there's automated... Uh, okay, so I think I need to end this dialogue. Later. Exactly. All right. There's a red... Divining rod? Don't even think about it, Rufus. It's mine now. But it's a family heirloom. So? A gift is a gift. Boy, I can hardly wait to give it a try. Maybe I can find a well somewhere near. And once I'm rich... We'll split 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> I might lend you the rod for a couple of hours. Okay. Expunge from bathroom. Okay. Sponge. Okay.
All right, so we're going to combine hook. And laughing gas. Okay. That's the lock pick. Look. Okay. Balloon with hook. There we go. Use the balloon with hook on bathroom furnace. Okay. This wasn't half as funny as I thought it would be. Okay. So we use the balloon with the hook on huh? that. Enter the basement. Okay. Uh basement. Okay. So now that we've entered said basement, use a dentist drill on pipe. Ah, okay. Dirt. Red curtain dentist drill. There we go. Pipe. <laughs> okay. Once we've done that. All right, so now we need to exit and go to water tower. Okay. Okay, that's going to be a bit of a minute. Inspect the pipe to spin it. So we've got that taken care of. Inspect the reservoir. Okay, where's the reservoir? His tender heart will break when he finds out that the well in his basement isn't real. <laughs> Quick, I don't want to miss the moment. Alright, so eventually we need to go back. Yeah, we need to re-enter Wenzel's place. Which is gonna take a minute.
Wenzel? I'm down here. Come quick. You won't believe your eyes. <laughs> Poor Wenzel still thinks he struck water down there. Instead, his cellar is simply flooded. <laughs> Bad luck. What's up, Wenzel? I struck water! Well, Wenzel, maybe you shouldn't get too excited. Sometimes you just think you struck water, and then it's just... Wait a second. You really struck water. Unbelievable, isn't it? I am rich! But that's impossible. And it's all thanks to you. Well, thanks to your father's divining rod. You are a true friend. You know what? You shared with me, and now I'll share with you. Really? Of course. I share with you this very moment, the moment of triumph. Let's enjoy it together. What's that grinding noise? It's not my teeth. I see. I'm rich! On this type of world, that would actually be very true if he struck water. Alright, so after scene, we can take the divining rod, which I missed. So maybe it's down in the basement? Yep. Alright, so we took the divining rod. Alright. Well, guys, actually, I don't know why I did that. I think this is actually where we're going to uh, going to leave it. So, thank you very much for watching. It's been a blast playing for you guys. If you're new, champ, don't forget to hit that like and sub. And until the next time, I'm Panther Zero Eight Two Two. I'll see you guys on the next stream replay. Peace out.